Hello from Austin, Texas. I'm sitting down here with Jocelyn Kirby to talk about a few of her clinical insights regarding acne and rosacea. Um, Dr. Kirby, can you talk about some of the mimickers of, of acne that we don't want to miss? Sure, so we talked a little bit about when acne is acne, but sometimes when we have to think beyond sort of when you hear hooves, you think horses, sometimes you need to dig a little deeper. So we talked a little bit about what's that lower age range when we should feel comfortable diagnosing a kid with acne. Uh, and so nine is kind of around that age. And we had a couple of cases where it was either an infant or a younger child and making sure that we're looking at their whole bodies, looking for signs of hyperandrogenism because we might need to refer to endocrinology. We also talked about some of the things that can trigger acne. So again, beyond just the norm, that may be whey supplementation. Maybe we don't think of that. We're always thinking about steroid supplementation, uh, anabolic steroids or testosterones. But sometimes it's the topical steroids or the oral corticosteroids or the whey supplementation that can be triggering acne. Great, those are great insights. Can you talk a little bit about nasty? That's such a big topic with us all, COVID and wearing masks. Can you give us some tips on how to address that with our patients? Yeah, absolutely. So what we've learned from multiple publications on mask knee is that it is usually acne. That's the process that's happening underneath. It's not so often rosacea, though it has been reported a few times. Uh, approaches are treat it like regular acne. Maybe it was there the whole time, but they just kind of we're drawn to looking at it because of wearing masks. Sometimes it's an acne mechanica because masks are rubbing on the face. Uh, and sometimes it's a true exacerbation of acne, whether it's due to the heat, the moisture, changes in the microbiome underneath the, underneath the mask. And so really just adjusting regular acne therapies, um, kind of giving the skin some, some air when you can, if you can you know, change mask materials and find that it helps a little bit better. But it's really just the simple things, benzoyl peroxide, uh, topical retinoids, treating the acne as it needs to be. Great, and one more question. Sure. Whey, whey protein supplementation. Yeah. What are your thoughts with that in acne? How do we best address that? Mm -hmm. So there's a few case reports of actually young men who were trying to uh, kind of build muscle. They wanted to take a protein supplementation, uh, started taking whey, and it actually contributed to their acne. And with more and more of the research looking into diet as a cause of acne, uh, whey and milk products, they can have a higher uh, glycemic index. So it probably contributes to acne in multiple different ways. Well, great. Well, thanks so much for joining us. It's great mm -hmm. to be with you. Thanks, Gary.